Hello guys and today I'm going to show you the comparison between the Acer Nitro 17 and the Lenovo LQ 59. So without any further ado, let's get started. The Acer Nitro 17 and the Lenovo LQ 59 are two of the latest gaming laptop offerings at the $1000 price bracket and both seem to offer value that you don't find on many other gaming laptops. Currently, there is a price difference of around $100 between the two since the Nitro 17 is on sale on Amazon, but most of the times you'll find the models featured here for similar prices. As always, the links for both of the laptops will be in the description for you to check out. The models here are the ones with the AMD Ryzen CPUs and Nvidia RTX 4060 GPUs, so the other aspects will decide which laptop is the better option out of the two. In this video, we'll compare the build quality and design, display quality, performance and battery life. First up, let's compare the two in terms of their builds. The build quality on the Acer Nitro 17 is sturdy and solid even though the laptop is made of plastic. The case doesn't flex, bend or have any creaking noises when pressure is applied and everything seems neatly put together. It has a gamer oriented design with a unique pattern on the back with the front being on the cleaner and simpler side. At the same time, the laptop is really heavy and big. Even among other 17-inch machines, it's hard to find another model that is thicker. Its thickness is around 1.1 inch and it weighs in at around 3 kilos, making it look like a beast of a machine when you're using it. When comparing the Nitro 17 to the Lenovo LOQ 59, the Lenovo looks like a much more portable laptop. The LOQ has a 15 inch screen, which makes it quite a bit smaller, and it has thinner bezels as well. In terms of exact dimensions, the laptop weighs in at 2.4 kilos and is around 0.86 inches thick, making it not small but fairly portable. In terms of design, the Lenovo LOQ 59 takes many design cues from the Legion series and that's not a bad thing. It has that unique design where the back comes out where the fans are and this time instead of being flat, it is much more slanted and gives even more character to it. The laptop is entirely in grey with blue highlights and is completely made of plastic. The look of it is much cleaner than the Nitro 17 and the Lenovo LOQ 59 easily wins in terms of portability as well. Next up are the displays on both and one of them has a clear advantage in this category. The Acer Nitro 17 has a larger 17-inch display as compared to the 15-inch display on the Lenovo LOQ 59. The Acer Nitro 17 comes with a 17.3-inch QHD IPS 165Hz panel with a 100% sRGB coverage. The panel has good color reproduction and accuracy, excellent sharpness due to being QHD and the 165Hz makes gaming a smooth experience. The contrast ratio is a slight nitpick which could be better but other than that, the color accuracy of the panel allows you to edit videos and photos confidently. The display on the Lenovo LOQ 59 is a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel at 144Hz. At first glance itself, you can tell that the panel is worse than the Nitro 17 since it only has around 54% coverage of the sRGB color gamut and is only Full HD compared to QHD on the Nitro 17. Even still, the display on the Lenovo LOQ 59 is absolutely fun for regular day-to-day -day use, gaming and consuming content but is not the best for editing due to the lack of color accuracy that I mentioned. Gaming on both is a smooth experience due to the high refresh rates and there is very minimal difference in smoothness between 165 and 144Hz but on paper, the Nitro 17 is still better. Overall, the display aspect is not a contest and the Acer Nitro 17 has a much bigger and better display. The performance on the Acer Nitro 17 and Lenovo LOQ 59 is about the same. Both the laptops feature the same main specs including the AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS CPU, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, a 1TB SSD on the Acer and a 512GB one on the Lenovo and for the graphics, both feature an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU. Other than the storage difference, they are the same and perform excellent. The Ryzen 7 and RTX 4060 combo allows you to game at 2K with decent frame rates and edit 4K videos and animations as well. You shouldn't face any issues with regular use at all and you probably won't face any issues throwing just about everything at it. In terms of thermals though, I'd say that the Lenovo LOQ 59 isn't the best but the Nitro 17 does fine. The CPU on the Lenovo reaches around 80 to 85 degrees during a stress test and stays at around 75 when gaming. The base of the laptop where the keyboard is does get quite warm but stays quiet. The Nitro 17 handles heat much better but is the opposite where it gets unbearably loud on performance and turbo modes. Overall, both perform great but due to the better thermals, the Acer Nitro 17 is better for sustained load. 
Battery life also sees a big difference in both, where one of them is a clear winner. The Lenovo LQ59 offers average battery life for a gaming laptop with around 5 hours of use, with basic browsing and video playback usage. The Asus Nitro 17, on the other hand, offers much better battery life with around 8 hours on a single charge, which is seriously impressive considering the size and power on it. Overall, both are decent by gaming laptop standards, but the Asus Nitro 17 is again the clear winner. So in conclusion, after comparing the two laptops in these main categories, the Acer Nitro 17 stands out as the better option. It's both currently cheaper and better than the Lenovo LOQ59, and even though the LOQ is a good laptop, it lacks when it comes to the Acer Nitro 17. Overall, if you can handle the 17-inch screen and can sacrifice on portability, the Acer Nitro 17 is one of the best gaming laptops to get. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel, and hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.